hey what's up guys it's Essen and welcome back to another episode of Dirty Bomb. First of all happy new year and I hope 2018 is going to be a wonderful year for each and every one of you. My 2017 was awesome so if 2018 can be even better that will be absolutely great. The first thing I want to do in this video is announce the winners from the giveaway I did last week. So I have two winners, the first one is going to be Tiny Tims and the second winner is going to be Strider Official. All you need to do to claim your prize is contact me via Discord, the link will be in the description of this video. And you have to respond within 10 days to claim your prize, otherwise I will unfortunately pick a different winner. So please respond within 10 days time. So this is going to be the second part of Weapon Mastery for the Stiletto Still Meadow. So when I started with the Stiletto I for sure thought it was going to be 10 times worse than the Empire 9. But only after a few games I actually kind of fell in love. Going knife only with the stiletto is so much fun, especially against like low health opponents, aura, sparks, proxy, you know all the low health mercs. Under 98 health will be a one hit with chopper if you use the right click. I primarily used a gen 1 aura card that had the stiletto and chopper which is really awesome because aura is really fast and chopper just gives the stiletto that extra little bit of punch it really really does need. So the first major downside of this weapon is the range. And this is kind of true of course for all of the melees but I feel like especially the stiletto has a really really crappy range and more importantly it is really inconsistent. A lot of the times you will be up close and you will literally knife through the enemy for no apparent reason yet other times you will get insanely long range kills of course for a knife that is. But like I said even after playing a few games I had a shit ton of fun. Just rushing around with aura, knifing only, it is so much fun. Getting them one hit kills, really satisfying. Though it can also be extremely frustrating if you knife someone, especially like the higher health mercs, and they turn around and they just instantly kill you. Because you're playing as aura, you only have 80 health, so you die very quickly. And that's the main thing with the stiletto, especially if you go stiletto only, which not a lot of people do, for obvious reasons. When it goes well, it goes really well, but when it goes badly, it is absolutely a horrible weapon to play with. And you just want to quit playing Dirty Room for the rest of the week. Personally, I haven't really used Quick Slash, just because the stiletto doesn't really do that much damage. Going for the left attacks, you will need 3, 4, 5 swipes, which is just way too much. And that will get you killed more often than not. So I didn't really bother with Quick Slash. I primarily used, actually I only used Chopper, which is just, in my opinion, for the stiletto at least, much, much better. And because I ran Chopper pretty much all the time, I 90% of the time I only used the right attack, which is, like I said, way more satisfying to get kills with and probably the safer and more guaranteed way to get kills anyways. The positive thing of the stiletto, if you can call it a positive thing, is that because it is a old school knife, a lot of the mercs have access to it. I didn't really benefit from this feature because, like I said, I pretty much only stuck with Aura. Uh, I did use Stoker a little bit, and fragger but that didn't really work out just because those mercs are so slow uh, you can't really surprise the enemy yes you do get more health but you're just way too slow in my opinion to go knife only so a funny thing about this weapon is that in my opinion the gen 1 cards tend to be slightly better for this purpose because most of the gen 1 cards have chopper well not most of them but a lot of the cards have chopper in gen 2 they remove chopper and gave a slightly more useful perk but of course chopper is more useful if you're going to do knife only so like i said i played pretty much only with the gen 1 aura card that was shown on screen it was actually a really really good card for this purpose so if you're going to do knife only in dirty bomb there will be games that you just want to kill yourself so the best thing you can do in that situation is just keep calm and just focus on the game don't rage don't get salty because it's just a game you choose to kind of uh, take a massive disadvantage by going knife only and in most situations if you just keep calm you will make more logical and rational decisions and in the long run it will work out better i've had games where i started off awfully like 10 death streak not even kidding you i just took a break cleared my mind with in that same game and I kind of restarted mentally and I did amazingly well for the rest of the game. So when I first started out doing this challenge I still used my primary weapons way too often and after a while I realized that it would take forever to get those 500 kills with this weapon so I started to do knife only and that was probably the best decision I've done for this weapon. Now I've said it a number of times that I played mainly aura and why is aura so good for going knife only with the stiletto? 
Well, it's basically because he is incredibly fast, so enemies don't really have a lot of time to react. And you can just really dodge and weave, jump, and it's, it's just a lot of fun in my opinion. I really do like the faster mercs and Dirty Bomb over the more slower mercs. She also has access to, of course, Stiletto and Chopper. The combination especially is really important in my opinion. And another great feature of Aura is that you can just plop down the health station and still get an insane amount of XP by just doing nothing. So even if you have a terrible game, don't get really that many kills, you will still get a ton of XP for just placing down the health station. And of course you can also revive people and still be as of use for your team, despite going knife only and probably not getting as many kills as you could have with a shotgun or blishlo. I said this in a live video as well, but the tactic I've implemented pretty much the entire time using this weapon is when you stab, you move your mouse like 30 to 40 degrees just to kind of have an arc. It feels more consistent and a better way to get kills. My logic behind it being that if the knife is out, there will be a split second where the knife it does do damage. So if you move, then you kind of create this sweeping motion and have a better chance of hitting your opponent. I'm not sure if this is actually a thing, but for me personally, it worked out pretty well. Another Another thing you will learn if you're going knife only with the stiletto is predict what the enemy is going to do. So sometimes you will run away and you just know the enemy is following you. So what you do is go behind the corner and then just run back towards them and just have your right slash ready to go. They won't expect that and they will just literally walk into your knife and you will get the kill. That type of meta game is really important for using the stiletto. And it's just really satisfying getting those kills when you're really low on health and they really think they are getting the kill on you. And that's probably the most fun thing about the stiletto is getting the one-shot kills. Like with all other one-shot kill weapons, snipers, shotguns and of course the knives. It's just really satisfying to get those kills. So in conclusion, this was actually a really fun weapon to get 500 kills with. And at the end, I was actually almost disappointed that it was over. If you're a good knifer, this is a pretty good strategy to play the game. Definitely one of the most fun ways to play the game. Another fun thing is that I've probably got more double kills with the stiletto than I did with the Empire 9. Anyways, that was it for this video. I already started the next weapon, which definitely is 10 times worse than the Empire 9. Probably not going to do a live video for that, just because I'm behind schedule for the weapon, I'm almost done. I'm probably not going to do a weapon mastery for one or two weeks, just because I want to play regularly with actual weapons, maybe even some ranked. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.